Hi folks, I'm Mayor Tom Koch here. Uh, a little update on the coronavirus and what we're doing here in Quincy. Um, as you may know and see on the news, uh, we're seeing cases going up. We now have three cases in Quincy. And with the additional testing that's going to be happening in the coming days, I'm sure that number will continue to rise throughout the Commonwealth and the country for that matter. Um, so we shouldn't be surprised. Uh, it's been said by the medical community that there's probably people that have it that don't know they have it. Uh, and people probably that have gotten over it okay already. So uh, we'll see those numbers probably increase. Um, so we certainly pay attention to that. You know, remind you about what everybody is saying, and that's the social distancing. You know, stay away from big crowds. Try to uh, keep some distance. Continue to wash your hands. Use good judgment, good practices, and uh, and you know, stay away from the elderly if you think you were sick or have, have an issue. So, uh, but by way of update, as far as city services go, uh, schools will continue as has been has been announced. We are closed for the next two weeks. However, at four locations, we'll be doing grab-and-go meals. North Quincy High School, Quincy High School, Snug Harbor, and Lincoln Hancock, 11 a.m. to noontime uh, each day during the week. So encourage those families, um, kids that need that uh, service, please avail yourself to that. Uh, we made a decision today in conjunction with the director of libraries that we'll be closing all the libraries. We had talked about just the branches the other day. Uh, but all the libraries will be closed, including the main Thomas Crane Library, for the next two weeks. Uh, also, the Kennedy Center, which we had closed the larger gatherings, we are now closing the Kennedy Center altogether. Um, and we will have transportation. Those seniors that depend on medical transportation rides, that will continue. Uh, so certainly check in with the Council on Aging if you have a ride set up and confirm that. Uh, but, you know, folks, as, as we've been, you know, taught and told, by both the medical community and, and folks that are involved in this issue, and the less contact with one another, the, the harder for the disease to be transacted. So that's the whole point of these closures and uh, being smart about things. Uh, City Hall will stay open. We do encourage people, if you can pay your bills online or by um, putting a stamp on, drop it in the mail, uh, we can, would prefer that. Less uh, public interaction in the lobbies and so forth would be helpful. Uh, but we will be open for business. Um, we are extending the periods and pay, so there would be a two-week grace period on some of the deadlines, whether it's excise tax or water bills um, that may be uh, at home on your counter right now. So you have time to deal with that. Uh, take your time as needed. If you have any questions relating to some of the medical issues regarding this, as we've said before, you can contact the health department. You can get, uh, go through the quincyma.gov and connect over to the health department line or 617-376-1272. Certainly our office, 617-376-1990 during the week. If there's any questions that we can help you with, we certainly would do that. Um, lastly, I would say that, um, you know, President Trump has declared today a National Day of Prayer. So whatever your faith tradition may be, certainly encourage you to pray for those poor souls that have succumbed to this disease, but also pray for those who are ill with it now and pray for the end of the spreading of this disease. So, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, enjoy your day. God bless.